What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the runoff happened last time, our Empire was on the ropes a bit, we got our, we got thoroughly trounced in Iceland when we got swarmed by conscripts and my navy got destroyed off the coast of Greenwich. But we did take Scotland, which was thoroughly undefended, and we are now advancing south towards London. They do have a fort here, they do have troops um, here ready to attack, not ready to attack, ready to defend London. This is the army that did all, did all the damage, and those are some of our ships that they've captured. There's Fairfield. Oh, our election's back in, and we've got lots of good people in government. Is that our king, Frederick IV? Yeah, it was. No sense of shame, but it makes people a bit more chipper. Cool. We had a good amount of cash, 10,000 in trade, 1,200 overall. Even though we suffered some military defeats... Good times are on the rise for Denmark. And we've also got our spy in to keep an eye on operations in southern or central Europe around the Balkans area. Because right now it's a bit of a cauldron as to who has the upper hand. My focus is strictly on taking the British Isles and reclaiming Iceland. Bringing Danelaw to the British Isles once more. And re-establishing the Danish Empire, the Viking Empire. So Russia poses a concern in the longer term, but we are allies to, us, to declare on us. Unless... Um, but I think we... I think we'll be doing pretty good. Russia's on the march again, but Russia's not really up to much. They've not taken the Crimean Khanate. They're not getting involved in the actual wars. They've taken some Swedish territory, but we've taken... I was about to say the, the bulk of the most useful parts, and Petersburg would have been very nice. I am concerned about Hanover, because they may pull the trigger and attack us. So this is why I'd be keen to get more of a... Ooh, a gentleman. Well, let's get him into a dense. As it's currently safe. I may spend a turn just building four. Building a four around Copenhagen, because god damn, that just makes it so much more defensive. Defensible. They are in London. Well then. Do I assault? Um, I think I let them attack me. I've got the superior foot artillery. And to be honest, these three units may be enough. No, probably not. Let's let this army keep rebuilding. Let's get them. They can. Oh, I don't want to build Sakers. Or blend up a shotgun as well, militia. Don't worry. They will sally and attack us. They can't help it. They're like moths drawn to the flame. Or. This is it. So let's bring this navy out. Let's bring this fifth rate back up to Bergen. Let's bring the sloop into Scotland. Unload their cargo. And then let's not attack them directly yet. Let's get those extra fusiliers. That'd be very useful. Our defence force here in Denmark's building up, but once we have walls, I'm more inclined to have to leave it up to the garrison. This army will end up. Well, I probably will cross over here and build a fort, with an eye on holding off the Hanoverians. Although it looks like they might be fighting against the. Okay, the Ottomans actually at war with the actually at war with the Austrians. Yep, they are, man. They're at war with Hanover, Poland, Hanover, Poland, Prussia, the Ottomans, and the French. So they're at war with pretty much everybody. Prague is asking to be taken. Yeah, I had any sense. They'd storm this army across and try to take Prague. So who's Hanover fighting? 
just Austria at the minute, but they're allied with Britain, so they may not look kindly on us on that. But let's hit enter. Aha! The defenders of London are sallying. So let's mow them down in severe, brutal fashion to these swine that slaughtered so many of our Danish brothers and sisters. So. We have the artillery advantage. They've got mortars. Won't have quicklime, but mortars are mortars. I am too heavily scarred. In their capital, no less. I see them happily march towards my guns and whistling the British grenadiers. Okay, my gun teams are behind a wall, which is a bit dodgy, but. Okay, so our line may be set further back. We'll make angle like so. And these are the guns. They're not. There's nowhere really that's that great to place them unless I place them further along down here. In which case, then my marines need to take up the position between them. Then my other conscripts. Scripts and Grenadiers form my left flank, which I'll deploy to later date. Let's deploy my light cavalry on the left, where they can take advantage of the open space, and my heavy cavalry on the right, because they may get tied up in just some slogging match. And my general in the centre. Try to engage. So where are they hitting? They're hitting my artillery. So my demi cannons focus fire them for what they will do. Their artillery is also focusing on my demi cannons. To be honest, it's fairly unlikely they'll do my troops do that much good. My idea of holding back will not wash. If I keep my artillery firing round shot, they will fire over the heads of my troops. Generally, fingers crossed. Maybe I might want to do them more like this. These guys have got enough space, they should log their shots over. This is a horse grenadier guards. Lots of chaff in the centre, most of the infantry are the Irish volunteers, grenadiers, marines. Where's your 33rd foot? Scottish line. I'm sure there's a 33rd foot unit. Oh, okay. So the Grenadier Guards have moved out. They want to get into a shooting war. Let's get my cavalry running. Cavalry moving. There are no cavalry defences. It's my heavy cavalry. Let's 
bring them around like this. These are just yeomanry and infantry. Yep, they. These infantry are deliberately trying to chase down my cavalry. They're going to work very well for you, Sammy. I want your artillery. You go for them, you go for this ship. Try to charge through. Good. So their friendly fire did nothing except let's retarget my artillery before I kill too many of my own. Good. Charge onwards into the demi cannons. Let's try run those troops away. Our line is absolutely shattered. There's superior infantry ship. If that's even a word. Good, so over here they're rendezvous with my heavy cavalry. Charge the yeomanry. Nope. The yeomanry is retreating. It would be handy to have over here to fire on these troops that are all routed, but there does not appear to be much of a stomach for much of a fight for the British army. Grenadiers and their militia, they're bringing some of their infantry back? I suppose not. God, this has been a rout. Some of their infantry's holding in the centre. Not for long, though. Cavalry down to smash into their unit of grenadiers. Let's bring my general down. So this will end up being bit of a slaughter fest. Can we target my artillery on that attempt to square? Garrison lines getting shattered. Let's bring these guys back to form. Let's form a battle line and let's keep my line infantry forming the actual He's a mostly militia conscripts, granted is not very good quality infantry, but we've got loads of them. Chopping through their heavy cavalry, through their infantry. Heavy cavalry can just do so much damage. Lost 20 troops. Against nine, 20 cavalrymen against 90 grenadiers. This is a full strength grenadier unit, too. Let's keep my heavy cavalry doing killing. Get my light cavalry to start doing. God, is that my general? Yeah, it is. I forgot you sent him up here. Oh, okay. Everyone swarm that general's body. God. Let's keep my heavy cavalry doing killing and my light cavalry do the do some mopping up. Let's 
chase down that unit of Scottish infantry, although they've gone quite a long distance. They will, yep, they're going to escape, so don't worry about them. You chase down the militia. Let's bring my heavy cavalry back to smash into the colonial line. You go up to the garrison provincial. You use my light cavalry just to keep slaughtering their troops. To keep chasing their troops down, I should say. The marine units come back. Anything that's redeploy all of these guys. I doubt the garrison unit will stand against the heavy cavalry. I might send one unit in, just so they don't get too surprised. There's three grenadiers, no grenadiers, chase down the Irish volunteers. is more than happy. Oh, a bit dodgy on the positioning. But they're more than happy to engage with their marines. Good, we are masters of the battlefield. And I see not much point in continuing the battle. Because we have utterly, and they are now ripe, for attack. Royal Navy's on the move. They know they have they don't have the strength to repel us. We've achieved what no AI could. Invading the British Isles. Successfully at that. I'm just trying to figure out what the Ottomans are doing. But I think once take the British Isles, I'll probably try to take their territory is right. Um, probably not attack the French yet until I've established a reasonable colony over in the Americas. Open up more ports for Danish trade. Maybe go conquer some trade theatres. Trade theatres are always a bit of a gamble because you end up having an enemy fleet shows up, sails around your main fleet, and then just attack. Kills all your trade ships. Yeah, sure, you've killed their fleet, but you've lost your there trade ships anyway. There is a port anyway. in this region, but it has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Go on there. Now you can have a general. Hans Weiser, Visa. And cross over to Ireland. Put them under siege. Let's face it, that last battle was pretty much the Battle of London. 500 troops remaining. London is ours! Then I was reluctant to do too much until I got all my repairs on the go. So you probably don't like me, but what if... I delete your College of Divinity... I'm not going to get rid of your school. I'm just going to not tax you. I'm going to put Cambridge to work for my ends. So you keep, start going for... Actually, let's get Uppsala to start going for some of the alignment tax. Let's get to Cambridge to work on um, Flying Shuttle. It's probably one of the better things for them to do without having many gentlemen. And let's get the coaching in. Why not? Actually, no. Let's try and... Okay, let's try and bunch you guys together. Because I want to try and man maintain as much as an elite... As elite a core of infantry as I can. 
So I'm afraid you guys can have to cross pollinate. Okay, replenish as much as we can. Awesome, I've got a new dockyard. And we also have a new navy. So let's take the navy over our tools. Ebonet, I thought it was Ebenezer. Oh, Ebenezer, what a strange name for a Danish ship. Cool, so that's gone very well. Soon we'll be on to marching against Dublin, although that garrison now got quite strong. So let's just wait there. You'll get another unit of fusiliers, but I would like more support. The French are battling against the upstart Belgian rebels. No, Dutch rebels, sorry. Don't worry, Britain. If you want to survive, you need to flee to somewhere in the Mediterranean, because you will find no refuge here. London Stable. We'll be on to a very, very solid position. I'm saying I definitely need to build up a navy in the Baltic just to keep keep watch on the Russian ships. But the French the French have nearly knocked out the Iroquois, so Well the Iroquois, the Iroquois. They the French have done quite a good job at clearing them out. Probably poses the thirteen colonies a bit of a bit of a thorny problem. I suppose with the British they spent more time focusing against me rather than um, the French and the Americas. Okay, good. So and all of my ports that can, let's get sloops being built. Let's send Send one of my cav units to kick these guys out of Liverpool. Which is it's currently a fishery, but London gets. Again, Newcastle is another dockyard. So I'm going to turn you into a craft workshop. Then let's keep upgrading the army. Not so bothered about about increasing any of their buildings technological capacity let's upgrade first let's get this unit of fusiliers over to hands because he could probably do with a bit of support let's get another 12 pounder regiment of horse and a heavy cavalry when i can get hussar unit Get unit of horse grenadier guards as well. Okay, let's upgrade the cannon ordnance factory because why not? Everything seems to be going rather well. So they could lay siege. It's tempting to lay siege because they could always just fall back. Although they are building a parliament chamber which might be handy to wait until it's finished. Can I recruit any cool Scottish units? Sadly not. I mean, it's unlikely I'll be able to at all, but worth consideration. And then my army back here is still gathering in strength. Uh, no expat infantry yet. I might actually send this sloop up to Bergen and bring this fifth rate back to my fleet. Oh, they, they, they collided with each other. Perfect. Good. Tanks are all going good. My fuse lasers have moved up already. <laughs> Britain does nothing because Britain can do nothing. The French may end up seeing me as a strategic competitor, which if they do, then they are welcome to do so. As they should, because I'm a fan to take Britain's place in the world. I want to watch Central Europe gang up on them. 
Wow, that's... I mean, that's a lot of territory for Finland, but it just goes to show they already have... I wonder if they want Sweden for it. I was supposed to say Finland. No. Why would I give you Sweden, a very valuable, powerful region, for all your chaff? My income would severely deteriorate and it would open me up to lots of other... Well, I'd, I'd lose money and I'd have to spend a bunch more money to make these Russian territories still able as Sweden. Population growth in this region has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. Okay, so... Where's your new town? Stavanger. Stavanger. Good. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. The naval board has been built. Let's upgrade the military academy. So... Don't bother with this yet. Instead... For longitudinal watch, probably a good idea to increase movement range. Good, lots of our garrison garrison units are being recruited. Let's recruit soup here. The reinforcements are on the way. Let's lay siege to Liverpool. If they attack, I can easily fall back. But right now, I just wanted to give them cause for concern. Let's upgrade the cloth mill. Let's upgrade the coaching in just to make them happy. Well, actually, yeah, happiness would be useful. Not as not as useful as tax money. Corbin, Zacharias, and Capering Loon. So he's worse at researching military tech. Uppsala, he can't, he's not as good at researching military tech. Cool. In which case, then, let's pick Scholar. Pretty good. Good for Enlightenment. Good for Industrial. Good for Industrial. Good for Enlightenment. These are both for Enlightenment. And good for Industrial. Jesus, this guy's great. Peter Horrible. So as long as I don't just make these, as long as these guys don't, well, just don't research military techs with Uppsala. That's the the upshot because they're just really good at everything else. Awesome. So in light of the Russians, I must start to recruit some proper infantry. Start building up this position. I probably also want to take an army like this and get ready to position them out here then provide, then start to build a fort. Just in case, just in case Hanover tries it. Although I could just garrison the bridge and they build a fort on the bridge because then well, I want to build a fort close enough to their borders that if they cross the river, they'll be attacking. I wonder, would it be attacking a? Oh, it'd probably be attacking the fort rather than a river battle. But it'd still be an interesting idea. Our tech's good. Everything's still going. You're still replenishing. Cool. Enter. Oh God, we can't retreat. Okay. Yeah, retreat. Uh, attack, I suppose. Force their infantry to move up, leave their mortars exposed, and then my general can just go after the mortars. It's a good idea. Ooh, particularly. Like, I wonder if I could get them to funnel into a. Well, there's not much of a bottleneck here, so I probably want to take this ridge. Just put my set of guns on the hill. Fusiliers in line. Infantry here. Deploy these guys like so. My general. 
because the deployment zone is very funky. Might go up. Oh no, that's the end of the map. I am an idiot. Oh, that's the British deployment zone. Just go in the trees for now. Okay, so exactly where they've gone. The mortars are deployed up front, but they're not going to be as useful. Might be tempting actually to instead deploy like this. Similarly, due to our decreased numbers, we will rely on increased firepower. Oh no, the mortars aren't doing anything. Abandon your guns! Just leave them. Why would you bother? Just run. Good. I hear the line infantry. Let's just bring my general back then. Oh, they can't make up their mind. Do they attack? Do they run? Do they attack? Do they run? Hopefully these guys decide to run in too. Either way, these guys are toast. Because I could, if they start to rush my lines, I can get some good cast to shot off. My fusiliers are much better than my... Line infantry is shooting much more accurate, much faster reloading, and I have better ammunition, but they're much more delicate in the charge. Oh, poor gunners. Every single one of them. Shot to pieces. The forlorn hope. Oh, they're not charging the mortars in because that's their general. Yeah, fair enough. One solid line of Danish line infantry. I don't think they've got much of a chance. So where is our chain? Okay. Oh, so when's our, where's our canister shot? End. End zero. I think they're going to be suffering from more morale problems than we will be. It's very much a cascade style problem. We break. They're a useful bullet sponge, but when they rout, it means that now these two line infantry units will take the brunt. These demi cannons should be doing good work, they can shoot point blank. Actually, I might pivot you guys around to support. No, break them on the, break them in the field and then we'll then we'll talk. Redcoats are better than yours. Right, okay. You guys are being silly. It's a bit of a funny little charm they just did. Those canister shot there, the old mucker. Oh yeah, 
then maneuvering. So it gives my light infantry a chance for a breather and some more free shots. Carefully watch. Don't shoot, because you might be perfectly timed to actually kill my general. Now fire. Fire it. I'm not so bothered about mopping up the infantry. If I had more cavalry, I would be, but these guys can charge out, and then they'll run down the general. Charging in mass formation, break again. Delicious stuff. Let's move up, take position. The waters have opened up on my general. Crack shots, these men are left. Last remaining unit of line infantry. It's trying valiantly to reform. Let's put it up to double speed a minute. Oh, yeah. It's the most of six of my cavalry on this charge inwards. Seventh in combat. God, they killed two of them just by firing their mortars point blank. Oh, go on then, let's get my... Let's get my general in... in here. Just because it provides them with such a good opportunity to get some skills, get a bit more experience. The end of the map is so close. Decisive victory. There goes the game. There's still plenty remaining, but I have significantly more, and I'm about to be reinforced as well. So there's much less they can do about it. Spain. Spain is pushing it through North Africa, going up against the Barbary States, which is a good idea because Spain gets harassed quite a lot by the Barbary States. So taking them out is quite a good idea. And it also helps create the tensions for a more historical Catholic versus Muslim battle in the Eastern Mediterranean. Very thematic of the Knights of Malta got involved. Talentarianism. Good stuff. Right, so we can upgrade the school and the happiness is sufficiently good. Still, I think we might. Same in Copenhagen. Yep. They're all pretty happy. Let's keep the upgrades going on military buildings. Build another, build another fourth rate. These guys back. Let's get these guys up to 
back to my main fleet or towards my main fleet. Let's get a sloop to, sloop to blockade the to protect my port from blockade. Let's get Ulrich back up to hands. And then, yeah, we will fight this. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time with a final defeat. Well, not the final defeat. They still have Iceland, but the, the effectively the final capture of the British Isles. Cheers, guys.